Welcome back to the Bill Brothers. My name is Javier and we're today we're gonna finally get started on the project I've been dying to start out for years. We're finally gonna be switching this E36 or my E36 from automatic to manual. I've been looking forward to this project for years. Uh, we've, I've been following the official automatic to five-speed manual swap thread at Beamer forums. Uh, if, you know, if you haven't checked out that thread, definitely. I think every information, all the information you're going to need is going to be in that thread. I've been following it for years, lurking around. Actually, I've never posted to that thread, so I'm very sorry for never being participating in it. But this is my way of giving back. Hopefully, we get to video every step of the process, and hopefully, you guys can enjoy. Uh, what many have actually accomplished and you know if people like me that truly love their E36s uh, I think it's something that's gonna give them et you know eternal life for the most part um, so uh, thanks to my brother as well for actually pushing me this route I was finally getting upset with this car with the manual transmit the automatic finally going um, and I figured uh, I really didn't think we I, I had it in me but we figured hey well we're gonna do this as together. We're gonna to do this uh, as a journey that that we can document for us, and hopefully some of you guys that maybe fo maybe following the same footsteps, and hopefully breathe some life slowly but surely into this car. Um, and next, you know, I'm gonna give you a little bit of where this car started. Um, I've had this car for something like 17 years or so. Uh, it's been through good times and bad times. Um, it was it started out, at, you know, it looks black like this. It's actually Meridius blue. Um, there was, I had posted a thread years back on my makeover when I originally uh, uh, kind of brought it back from the dead the first time around. Um, it's not doing so hot right now, but I originally changed out all the interior from the beige color to a black color. Uh, everything on the inside for, has from, is from an M3, from an E36 M3. Uh, I'm, I've been very careful to never badge it as M. I don't really want to, to, sh to pretend like this car is something it's not. It is still a 325i, um, but I, I took every detail possible, my favorite details from the uh, M model to make it what I really wanted to make this. Um, there's still lots of things that I want to do in the long run, to, to like changing out to the three-spoke steering wheel. Um, uh, maybe change out the wheels later. I think the wheels are are a little dated now but you know slowly but surely we'll you know I'll keep tinkering it hopefully we can bring life into this um, my goal for this my goal for this project is to uh, do it in phases so the goal for the first day progress is actually to dismantle everything we're not doing anything yet uh, after we're done with this progress we're gonna take a part inventory we're gonna go through one by one and list all the parts that we need for this project uh, if there's any surprises, hopefully we're going to be able to write it down somewhere in the video and put some notes anywhere on the screen here uh, when, if we're missing something. But we want to at least give you like the most comprehensive information we have uh, to us. And, you know, hopefully when the project's done, then we have something to share with you guys. And hopefully you get, a, you get the same cake we do out of it. Thank you for watching this. Uh, see you around. All right, so our official step one is to disconnect the battery here. So we're gonna make sure that since we're gonna be working near the starter, we don't want any, any power running through our systems where we may actually short it out and kind of cause them some kind of electrical damage. So start with that. Uh, step two will be showing up next. All right, for step two, we're gonna be using the E36's built-in jack plates to lift up the car and put it on four jack stands all the way around. Uh, see if you can get them as high as possible. Um, that way we want to make sure that we'll be able to, to remove the transmission once it comes out. Uh, I know that we can do it later, but you know, might as well just avoid all the problems and see how high you can get it the first time around. So we have our first official snag. My hydraulic jack doesn't quite hydraul right now. So it's leaking fluid, hydraulic fluid, so uh, we can't lift the car half high enough to be able to get a clearance, good clearance uh, in the long term. So right now we're going to pause it until we can find a way to lift this up a little higher. So I still don't have a new hydraulic jack so I figure it might as well still be, I can still unbolt the exhaust. So we're going to start by, uh, I like to go from front to back and kind of then lower it down the middle later. So I'm 
first thing I did is that I set I sprayed these with PB blaster these three bolts there for the exhaust manifold and then these three as well uh, hopefully they should be loose enough to be able to take them off um, after that then I like to make my way down the exhaust where we kind of we're gonna hit the hanger here right there and then we can separate the exhaust hanger there um, and then we can continue the way back and I'll point out what the other ones are in just a second what we're gonna remove all right, so we're going to start by removing the exhaust hanger. So I'm right here under the, the exhaust portion. So we're going to remove, remove uh, that bolt right there and then the similar one on the other side. Okay, That's where we're going to start. Uh, we're going to hopefully let this hang and kind of work our way then from the back to the front to be able to disconnect the exhaust and set it off in one side. Uh, I like to take it off as one unit so that way there's no need to kind of separate it and just I'd rather have the whole thing just come down in one shot. Um, now that the exhaust uh, hangers are down then we're going to trace the exhaust all the way up to the rubber hangers. Uh, I'm going to jack up there using our hydraulic uh, jack uh, just to hold enough uh, to kind of give it a little leverage so when we remove the exhaust manifold bolts then uh, nothing the whole thing doesn't come crashing down on us um, but then we can still take it out in one piece Right, and the next thing we're going to be doing is removing this heat shield which is currently hiding our drive shaft um, so next thing is to removing all these little bolts probably about 10 milliliter bolts all the way across this heat shield there's, there's another one there um, and then hopefully once we'll have drive shaft uh, our, we have access to the drive shaft um, we're going to finish out the day today by taking out that drive shaft and leaving it ready for our transmission removal. We've now removed the heat shield and now you can see a fully exposed drive shaft here. So what we're looking to do is now we're going to loosen these bolts right here in the front of the drive shaft that connect to the transmission. Uh, then we're going to make our way to the back of the drive shaft and remove the bolts that hook up to differential. Uh, and then finally we're going to come back to the middle and remove these two and drop it down as one unit. Um, and we'll be back once the, that is done. Okay, so one of these bolts came out, the other ones aren't quite uh, being as, co as cooperative. So we're going to use some PB Blaster on all those. And while that's soaking, then we're going to go ahead and remove um, the center bracket here. Sorry, I'm going to to turn it this way. This center bracket holding the uh, drive shaft that'll prevent the drive shaft from coming out uh, and then hopefully we'll come back after things have loosened up a bit all right so i'm going to call today almost kind of a failure um i set out to finish by removing the drive shaft today um there's two bolts that i don't know i must be getting old that i cannot get them loose for new for no matter how much I, I try so i need a second pair of hands um until my brother kind of shows around here shows up around here um, so we we're still in the process of removing the drive shaft after that we're gonna do the oil and we're gonna be doing the draining all the oil and then hopefully bringing down the transmission so here's what I what I thought was gonna be a quick and easy day didn't really turn out to be so hmm we'll see how it works out from there bye <laughs>